drama bin drama arab drama said drama nyar drama zote pamoja aya ya 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 folks yesterday the most significant game changing landmark political development unfolded in our dear motherland and if you are paying enough attention you will totally agree with me because at first sight and without the background and without enough information you might just want to disagree with me okay so what happened yesterday the mbakasi east member of parliament controversial babu wino held a press conference and the highlight of that press conference is that he told kenyans that he has proof that the disputed land yeah where kenyans are about to get their buildings their life savings in buildings demolished the way we saw in mavoko that that disputed land does not belong to the person who recently won a case opening the door for that demolition that is the famous kirima family but actually it belongs to somebody else and babo we know has all the proof <laughs> now why is this game changing why am i calling this the most significant political development in our country this year and indeed in a long time why it is for the following two main reasons there are the reasons but these are the two main ones number 1 this development exposes one of the most rotten smelly things happening in kenya that has caused so much chaos and i'll put it this way legalizing the illegal okay for instance all our presidential elections over the last 16 years since the year 2007 have been legal on paper but in reality they have been illegal which means somebody legalized the illegal number 2 this case illustrates how most of the land owned by the big landowners of Kenya the richest of the rich the big families all that land was illegally acquired but made legal okay and this case illustrates gives irrefutable evidence that this has been happening and tells you exactly how it has been done <laughs> don't worry if you're still lost i'm going to break it down but the long and short of it yeah that should stick on your mind is that kenya is the land of legalizing the illegal yeah which just means it is a country of illegalities and irregularities period and that is our root problem in our beautiful motherland the reason why we have remained behind a banana republic when in actual fact there is no reason why kenya should not be a first world country other countries are using our brain power kenyans are working all over the world in different fields helping other countries become great and of course the main reason is that in their own country they have no chance in hell of making it because it is a country of illegalities and irregularities folks this is very serious right let us break down the current kirima land controversy and babowino now the late garishon kirima who for most of his life was a 
Kanjora Councillor in the Nairobi City Council, a mayor councillor, is well known to all the Kenyans. He owns a lot of real estate in the country. Even in the CBD, there are multiple Kirima and Sons buildings, multi storied buildings. And all the Kenyans will have the answer to the simple question How did a mayor councillor come to own? so much valuable property bang in the middle of the CBD and elsewhere in the outskirts of Nairobi. How? All the Kenyans who were operating in the 80s and 90s, some of them in the 70s, will have a very clear-cut answer to that question. The story in our dear motherland is that you and I have no chance in any court of law. We have no chance even outside that court of law of winning and getting justice. Why? Because those who do these things of making the illegal legal are thorough. Yeah? The ones who launched this stealing soon after independence most of them were semi-literates, a vast majority of them. Many of them had hardly gone to school. But they did a thorough job. Let's give that to them. Let me explain. In Baba Wino's latest bombshell, this alleged Kirima land actually belongs to an Italian national who bought the land in the year 1966. The year when President Ruto was born, by the way, and the land was bought from an Asian, a Muhindi, and something called an indenture, rather than a title deed, was issued. In those days, indentures is what was being used. Now, regulars in this channel will remember my video on Mavoko. I gave you a very strong tip of exactly what happened behind the scenes in the Mavoko case. These people who legalize the illegal usually start by doing their homework. And after they do their homework, they move in. And the records in the land's office are changed. And the genuine records destroyed. Now you remember in the Mavoko video I said that East African Portland cement won were very lucky because they had access to records outside Kenya. Yeah, because the land in question was acquired by East African Portland cement, which originally was a fully owned British company. So all the records were in London, are still in London. Now the problem with the ancestral family land and my ancestral family land is that Hakuna land and Mali records Ziko where we can go and nail people who try to grab this land from us unfortunately so in the Babo Wino case the Mihango Njiru land let us imagine the following situation you are one of those people in the 70s who specialize on using your resources to make the illegal legal so you do your homework and you discover that this land you're interested in belongs to an Italian who is out of the country. And because you're a very connected person in government, you're confident. You move in and you change the records in the land's office. And you destroy all the original documents. Game shot. Deal done. And you're even more confident because you know in case this foreigner returns suddenly to Kenya or tries to return suddenly to Kenya you will work with the immigration department to keep him out of the country okay therefore your land imanda 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 done deal lakini mungu ni nani you remember i told you spiritually we are in the season of judgment which is also the season of exposure 
yeah, and I mentioned to somebody to relax. This thing of land is going to be cleaned. Mpake kwe safi kama pamba. Just wait and see. It may not take two years. It may not take five years. It may take more. But when it is done, trust me, it will be clean. And it usually starts with exposures and eye-opening drama like this one which unfolded yesterday. But there was another devastating idea that will make all the rich families in Kenya very worried that just fell down on the table, pop, maybe even from heaven. <laughs> and it is the following. Babu Awino told us that to prove ownership of land, the first thing you need is an original title deed of that land. But the other things you need, original ID copies of the people transacting. Okay? Passport size photo, photos of the people transacting. Proof of payment. Now, let me ask you a question. In case you are grabbing land, do you think these documents will be available? <laughs> no way! If you have an original ID, it is only the ID of the person buying, the alleged buyer. It is only that of the person purchasing, the owner, the new owner. That's the only ID you'll have. You'll not have any identification of the seller. Of course, you might try and forge one, you know, which is a criminal offense. The same can be said about the passport photo. You'll only have yours. The other party, uh, difficult to get. Again, you can forge. Maybe you can download it from the internet. But illegal. Criminal offense. The third one is even more difficult. Proof of payment. Grabbed land is not paid for. The money used is used in land's office, lawyers, hapanapale. But proof of payment for the land? Ah, ah. Akuna. Making illegalities legal. That is the crux of the problem we have in motherland Kenya. But there is another even bigger bombshell. In both the Mavoko case, and in this case of Mihango Njiru, there is circumstantial evidence that suggests the government was involved. Okay? These were cases which had taken a long time. Now some sources are saying that it is possible. Somebody in government approached these people, the Kirima family, the owners of the Mavoko land, and made a deal. We will speed up the court case. It will be ruled in your favor. But then immediately after the demolitions, you will do one, two, three. Yeah. Now today I've given you a lot to digest. So let me just leave it there and leave you to digest it. Now before I play you a very important clip of the highlights of what Babu Wino said so that you totally understand this. A quick reminder of my latest book, The Ruto Kenyans Will Never Know. You can see full details on your screens right now. And this book will help you understand even more how it is possible to rise from nothing into something great in Kenya today simply by using one strategy and one strategy alone. That one of making the illegal legal. It is a potent strategy, very effective. You must read this latest book of mine or listen to it because it is also available as an audiobook. I believe you have been seeing all the payment details on your screens. Go for it. I highly recommend it. Right. Let's go to this explosive clip. Yeah. And listen. For the highlights it's very brief but all the major major points i've been talking about and a little more are there i'll be back i'm babu Oino, member of parliament in bakasi's constituency 
I'm here to talk about the purported Kirima's land at Mihango and Jiru in Mbakasi East constituency. That this said parcel of land does not belong to Kirima, neither does it belong to Kirima's family. I've gone further as a member of parliament, used my resources, I've done my investigation, and today I'm here with the relevant documents showing the original owner of the said parcel of land, and we've gone further to bring this person all the way from Italy. As we speak, he is in Kenya, and we are going to court. Proof of ownership of land is by having a title deed, or rather producing a title deed before a competent court of law. The document that I have here is a document that was drawn in 1966. This document is called an indenture. An indenture, in, that, in those days, 1966, there was no title deed. And what was being issued by the government is this document called an indenture. We have the original copy of this that shows that this said parcel of land was sold to Mr. Domenico Di Masi, an Italian, and he bought it from Mr. Suklal Madoram. The said parcel of land in question, the original LR number was 5908-5-3. Stroke stroke the current LR number is 5908-8, stroke and that is what was being contested in court. I want to explain to members of the public that if this land, parcel of land, if at all it belongs to Kirima's family, then number one, Kirima's family must produce original title deed, which is in our possession as we speak, and that is why we are going to court for that matter. He must produce completion documents. Apart from the title deal, he must produce other completion documents like number one, the ID copy of the person who sold him the land. Number two, passport sized photographs. Number three, rent clearance certificate, rates clearance certificate. The transfer form must be produced before a competent court of law. We must have proof of payment. Because if this parcel of land was sold to Kirema, then there must be proof of payment. Without all this, then all the claims are hot air. The original owner of this parcel of land is now in Kenya. We are moving to court. And why did the court make a judgment in favor of Kirema's family? Is because it is a few residents who went to court having been threatened that they will be evicted from the said parcels of land, petitioned. So it was their duty, because he who alleges must prove. It was their duty to prove their case. But since they didn't have the original title deeds, they could not prove their case. So in this situation, it will be our role to prove that these parcels of land, or rather the parcel of land, there are 1,000 acres, belong to Mr. Domenica Di Masi, who is now since deceased. The son is still alive. He brought the son all the way from Italy. He's here. He's the heir apparent. And we have some documents here from the High Court of Kenya, Certificate of Confirmation of Grant. And I will shortly read it. I hereby certify that above written grant of representation to the estate of the late Domenica Di Masi, issued to Bernardo Vince, Vincenzo Di Masi, herein named, named at this 31st January 2011, being confirmed by the court, pursuant to the provisions of Section 71 of the Laws of Succession Act.
Ай, я, 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 children etc etc Kenya is the land of making the illegal legal Oh God almighty have mercy on our country Until next time this is Chris Kumekucha <laughs>